Hey guys. Okay, I'm two minutes late. You all have to give a pregnant woman some grace. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? Whoopsie. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Um, let's see here. I had to start a few minutes late today um, because I've been running around. Future and Sienna have been turned up. Uh, future Zoom classes have been going like normal. Um, Sienna has been her energetic two-year-old going on three in like a week and a half self. I've also been planning for her birthday party. Russ and I have been planning for her birthday party. So we're going to have a nice quarantine party. I'm excited for that. Um, I know some of you guys also saw me talk about my nails, me taking my, um, my gel nails off. My tips are gone. Not too bad, right? I know you guys saw my longer length, but now um, I had to cut them down. I had to basically snip them because, as you all know, when you take off your gel nails, they're really brittle. Um, so, yeah. But anyways, um, I'm going to be putting on my tips soon. Tips are coming. Can you pass me those tips right there, too? My nail tips. Thank you. Can't find it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> nail tips are coming on soon. I'm excited about these. I've never had to do this before, but when in quarantine, you make it happen. I had to make me some French tips. <laughs> and like my classic tan color that I always like wearing. So we will see how that goes as well. And she gave me some options so I could have all the right fits all the right nail fits. Um, anyways, so today what I did, which was really fun, is I asked for um, questions from some of my fans, some of you guys, from all my fans, and some of my fans also submitted their thoughts over to the Beauty Marks Entertainment page. So I wanted to um, share with you guys one of the questions that I got that I thought was really cool. And if you guys have any more questions, just put them up in the question box and We'll talk about them. Um, but today's topic or conversation that was very intriguing to me is Catherine Picks asked, she said, for Women's Wednesdays, Women's Wednesday, can you see her talk about the importance of women having financial independence? Does she have any advice on the best ways to budget, save, and invest? Um, so I really, really love this question because I really do believe that, um, I can speak for myself out of all my years that I've been doing what I've been doing and had the bless, have, have been blessed to have a job, um, you know, starting at like, I'd say 15, 16 years old. And even prior to that, I think some of you guys know that the way that I made money, I never really had a proper legit nine to five um, clock in kind of job. But my way that I made money before I was who I was is I used to do hair in the neighborhood and I used to make like $5 a head, $10 a head, $15 a head, sometimes $20, $25 a head. That was how I made money. And then I also had a cool opportunity to work at the Atlanta Brave Stadium um, to make, I think, like $50 a day we were making, um, which is pretty good. I was really young, um, early teens, but I never really had a proper, proper job job um, and where I was also responsible for taxes and all that stuff um, prior to me doing what I do now where I'm responsible for all that stuff um, but basically I really like that question because something that I really felt early on in my life um, you know um, as a woman especially is is financial independence um, I've really been a big believer in this and I always um, I remember my first con my, my conversation with my first accountant um, who was the sweetest soul, you know, one of the best things that we talked about at a very early age was having a 401k plan and things like that. And obviously, if you're not talking to financial advisors, sometimes you just don't know these things. But I really took heed to that. And I held on to that from that age. I started at an early age. And, you know, I, I, I'm going to talk about all that today. I have some kind of notes, some notes that I wrote down for you guys. But going back to the topic, the the financial independence is so important, I think, for all of us. But I, I really feel like as a woman, we're empowered, um, you know, when we have financial independence. Um, I can say that through all my transitions in my life, when I've had to like literally be on my own and figure it out, even when I was really young, I was always, that was always my strength. Um, and it was a good feeling to never have to worry in that regard. But I will tell you, it did take effort. 
Um, it did take um, me being um, intentional about my fin finances. It also took me being realistic about my finances, finances um, you know, not putting the cart before the horse, even though I really um, wanted to do really big things. I was realistic about where I was and I'm like, okay, I really want to be able to buy this type of car or this type of house. And as much as I want to get these things, I know I could create, be creative and create plans to make those things happen. But if I do those things, are they going to harm me? Are they going, is the harm going to be immediate? Like, will it be immediate or will it be indefinite? Um, cause we all know, you know, the idea of debt is a real thing. And sometimes we put the cart before the horse because we really want this, like all these like nice things and we want to do all these fancy things and we want to have, you know, the, the fancy car and the fancy house. And it's like what I realize and what I kind of conditioned my mind to think is that all those things can really wait. Um, and a lot of times, you know, we got to really focus on the things that we need versus the things that we want. Um, and I think that having that philosophy is like, do I really need like this Chanel bag? Do I really need like this Gucci jacket? Like I want it, but do I really need it? Like what's going to be the damage? Like that's the question I think we have to ask ourselves, um, you know, with anything that we invest in, any purchase that we make, but the financial independence, I will say as a woman was always important to me. And there was no better feeling than knowing that in a transitional moment in my life, I was going to be okay. So I think it's a blessing when you, you know, it's a blessing when you have a partner that holds it down and has his own. I think that's important too. Um, and it's great when someone wants to love you and, you know, take care of you. And that's also really sweet. And, um, it's great when a man has that mentality, but I will also say, I do believe that financial independence is important. And also too, because it's also cool when you can do things for your partner as well, or when you're able to reciprocate, even if it's not even a relationship, if it's a business, um, you know, meeting, or if it's just things that you do, like you want to be able to like, you know, have your own and hold it down. Um, what's that song that, um, I think is, is it Jamie Foxx, Neo? I think it's fabulous. Um, she got her own like that. I think that I, I that song is actually like, a cool song that kind of talks about this. So financial independence, I think is really important for all of us, um, man and female, but I will speak to my ladies in particular. Um, I think it's an attractive thing too. Um, obviously I'm not chatting with a guy, but I love to hear a guy's perspective on that. Please comment down here if you can. But I think there's something really attractive about that. That's, you know, just being independent is attractive as well. Now you can't be so independent that you're like, you know, that you're like, you know, you, you, you step over people or you don't allow them to feel empowered too. Um, but I think that being independent is a very, very powerful thing and a very, uh, it's a necessity, I think. Um, so yeah, so what I, I wrote down here for you guys, I just said that, you know, which I kind of talked about, yes, financial independence is very important. Um, and again, you also have to like, you know, I think sometimes you can look to your right and your left and wish that you're doing or, or being what you see somebody else doing. But the reality is you got to run your own race at your own pace. Um, I think that's really important. Again, like sometimes you're like, I want to have this. I want to have all these things right now. Um, but the reality is, is that, you know, when it's your time to get what you're supposed to get, you're going to get it. And you got to be patient for that and know that. Um, and that's whether it's financially, um, whether it's, you know, uh, the, your life desires, um, the things you want to have, the tangible things, you know, run your own race at your own pace. Um, there's been times where I've been like, I wanted to have something a certain way. I wanted to be able to do things a certain way and I couldn't do it when I wanted to do it, you know, and I believe there's a reason for everything and there's a season for everything. And the blessing um, for me was like, I learned lessons along the way. And then those things that I desired to have, I stayed focused. I had goals. Um, I stayed committed to those goals. And all the things that I desired actually happened for me, but at a time that I was ready and a time that was perfect for me. So, um, you know, I want to say that as well. Um, let me see who's down here. That's God's timing. That's exactly it. Let me see if I got some 
commentary going on. Let me see here. Okay. So then the next thing that I was going to say is, oh, that's a good one. Okay. I want to talk about that one. All right. So the next one I want to say, I'll, I'll come back to that. But the next one I talk about is, I think I've said this already, is having flexibility. Having, uh, as I wrote here, you have flexibility by, you know, not having to call on others, not having to ask for handouts. And, you know, I think that's such a great feeling, right? When you don't have to like, when you, I love being able to give, right? I always want to be a place to where I can give and not have to be like, I, I need, um, you know, that's just something that I've kind of like set within myself. That's my own personal goal that I've like set my own personal standard and goals that I've set within myself. Like I'd rather be in that place. Um, and then I also said here, I, I think I said this earlier to focus more on your um, needs versus your wants. A lot of things that we think we want or think we need, we don't need. Um, a lot of things are like temporary, especially like the materialistic things, like they're temporary. Um, you know, we look nowadays on Instagram and all these different social channels and we see everybody like rocking. Sometimes you see like, you know, girls can post up like Chanel bag, uh, you know, Chanel hat, Chanel from my head to my toes, which is cool. I'm not knocking that girl. Keep be fly all day. But again, like don't be distracted, like where you feel like you're, you have to be under the pressure of being that girl. Like, you know, be confidently you, like, you know, you can go to Zara and still be super fresh from head to toe. I am that girl. Um, so I, I know I am, I can say I'm blessed with, you know, what I do and what I have, but I am the girl that goes high, low. If you guys are my fans, you guys know that, um, you know, I, I think, you know, you wear the clothes, the clothes don't wear you, you know, that has to always be kind of your attitude. Um, but don't be distracted and caught up in like Mrs. Jones and like what she's doing, you know, you know, like you can, you can be fly with the simplest things. You don't have to have everything be designer all the time. And if you can do design all the time, do it, you know, but again, I think it's important for people to, to think that way. Um, and then I also said here, um, budgeting, I think budgeting is so, um, I've learned the true value of budgeting. I always say that you can't get where you want to ultimately get to in life without a compass. And I think you have to apply that to everything that you do with budgeting. Um, you allow yourself to kind of know the world you're going to play in financially. You kind of allow yourself to um, set boundaries that are necessary, um, you know, so you don't get crazy. Like, what is your pie? Like, what is your financial pie like? Like, what are you... How are you, you know, do you, are you able to do the three month projections or the six months projections or the one year projection? Like you kind of want to be able to have those markers that you grow to, where it's like, again, what are your needs versus your wants? Like eliminate the things that you don't need um, and, you know, have a balance like in your portfolio, like no, um, you know, the basic things you need to survive, have that budgeted out knowing what your income is, understanding that per month, um, you know, and make sure that your things that you need um, versus your wants are all clear. Like you're always covering your needs, always cover your needs. Um, and then if you budget properly and you're consistent, then you can see the things that you'll be able to get all your wants you'll be able to get. Um, so again, budgeting, I think is really important um, as well. And that has worked out for me in a great way, um, especially when you have different businesses that you're running. I, I'm an, being an artist, I like to be creative. And now being a CEO of my own record label, I have to sometimes take off my creative hat and put on my business hat until as much as my art, the artist in me wants to do this really creative, extravagant video. And I want to do, you know, get all these cool, um, you know, things that will help the creativity. I also have to put my business hat and be like, okay, slow down, trim it down. Your video budget is this, your photo shoot budget is that. Um, I have to set limitations on myself even now. And I think that when I, when I look at the most successful people that I admire and really, um, you know, look up to, they're very smart about like, you know, 
they're very smart about their finances. They're not reckless. They're not like buying everything all over the game. They're not buying everything recklessly. They're not just like, oh, get that, get that. And then if they can say, get that, get that, they still have kind of like their, they know what they're playing with. They, they know exactly what they're doing when they're having fun. So I think budgeting is so important. Um, and then I say the 401k plan. I want to encourage all you guys to get a 401k plan if you, um, if you have. And of course, this time is really tough right now. So I think what will be really important is if someone's really being impacted by COVID-19 financially, I think you have to really sit down and try to think about how you can see the next few months of your life um, flowing. Like you got to be able to really sit down, be smart, be realistic, think about things you may need to adjust so that you can survive this time. And then when you get on your feet, get that 401k plan going. I think that's really important. And again, I started mine when I was really young, but the ultimate goal is we wanna have that security. When, we're, when we say, I'm done rat working, um, it's been great. We wanna have that security. So I wanna encourage you guys to do that as well. Someone said, I've been horrible at shopping, but I've been blessing people also. That is a good thing to be able to bless people and then work on your shopping budget. Um, let me see. Oh, so funny. Someone said, <coughs> my mama always said, don't go broke trying to impress the broke people. <laughs> so funny. Don't be caught up on somebody else's block. Worry about what they got going on. Make your block hot how it's supposed to be hot for you. Um, and sometimes people be making things look real good and it don't be all, you know. So anyways, but let me see here. I, th I also wrote this out. I said, you know, you want to have an end goal. You want to have, you know, an end goal, big picture goal. Like what is your ultimate like <coughs> goal for yourself? Do you have a salary? Like, you know, do you have a salary goal? Sorry, guys, I need some water. Mm -hmm. Do you have a salary goal? Like, you know, for me, I'll look at my years and I'll say, this year, it's my goal to meet this mark financially. I like to set goals because it allows me to know what I'm working towards. It helps me when I'm making financial decisions. Like I'm being smart about my budgets. I'm being smart about how I'm <clears throat> doing things. And so I think the key is that, oh gosh, <clears throat> What is what you want to do is, you know, in my world, it's a, it's probably a bit more unique because I have different businesses. But I think for if I wasn't living life this way, I still would have a salary goal. I would still know what I'm trying to get to. Like, what is your salary goal? Like your salary goal helps you determine the job that you want to go after. Um, your salary goal just kind of like gives you a working place. Like it gives you a place to look to, right? Maybe you may not make that mark the first year, but at least you're having a place to point to that you want to ultimately get to. And then you have to make sure all your decisions that you make affect the output. Oh, sorry, guys. <coughs> ay, ay, ay. <coughs> sorry. I'm like sweating from coughing. Pregnant life. But then when you, going back to what I was saying, is that when you set your goal that you're trying to get to, you kind of, you have a working place. Like you, you have a, a starting point. Like you know, okay, I know where I'm trying to get to. Therefore, every decision I'm going to make is going to ultimately be the hopes is that I'm going to be able to get closer to that place. Like I think that's kind of like at anything in life. Like when you set goals with anything in life, whether it's personally um, what you want for yourself um, whether it's your work goals, whatever it is, when you set those goals, you give, you've now given yourself and empowered yourself with a compass that will help you get closer to where you ultimately want to be. And then that helps you weed out all the bull junk. Like it helps you weed out all the stuff that doesn't matter, the stuff that's going to impede your process to getting there. It helps you like really like trim out all that extra stuff that's unnecessary to, you know, simplify things. Like I think that's one thing I could think of is like, how do we simplify things? Sometimes we make life so complicated when it doesn't have to be. And so when you set those goals, you really simplify things. Like within one moment of writing down goals, you know, you, you really kind of make life a little less complicated and you create some clarity and you give yourself some focus. So, um, 
those are a few things that I want to say to all that um, as far as financial independence goes. I think it's really dope when us ladies um, can hold it down on our own. Um, I think it's attractive. Um, you know, like I said, I think it's fun. We can also do things for others. Um, I do get excited personally when I'm able to, you know, do nice things for my hubby. Um, it makes me feel good. I feel like I'm like doing something. Like I feel like I'm creating my own. I feel like I have my own identity, um, as a woman, like what, you know, being, being able to be financially independent. So that was what today's conversation was about. And as far as investing goes, you know, I would say, talk to, you know, your, your point person at your bank or find the right, find the right financial, um, investment company that's best for you and, you know, where you are and take time, put an effort. I think that's important to put an effort to learn, um, to educate yourself and then to, um, empower yourself to ultimately make the best decisions that's going to give you the best end goal. Like that's going to get you to your end goal. That's going to give you the best ending, the best end result, so that you can live life how, you know, you desire and deserve. Um, what else do we have before I get up off of this plan? Got some questions here. <clears throat> okay, this person says here. Hmm. Can you invest in the uh, are you gonna give? What you guys talking about? Think about having you have a change. If I, um, where you guys at? Where you guys at? Hey, what are you thinking about? Um, someone said here, what do you about think about taking? This question, what do you think about taking loans in general? I don't like loans. Um, I am actually um, the kind of person that if I don't need to ask for something, I ain't doing it. Um, <laughs> um, no, but in this case, I just, again, I, I'm afraid. I don't like debt. I'm really afraid of debt, um, just to be honest. Um that's something that motivates me to really go out and get it. I never want to be in that place of like being in debt. Um, and I do feel like if you are in a place where you're in debt, you got to set those goals to get out of it as soon as you can. Um, that's never fun to have that weight on your back, you know? Um, and then again, you got to make decisions that will allow you to um, position yourself to get out of that debt as soon as you can and to never... Um, be back in that place. Hold on, let me see what's happening here. Let's see. All right, next question here. <clears throat> let me see. What else you guys got? Someone says, salary goal, I love it, but as a newly graduated student, do you limit yourself? Of course you limit yourself. Um, you know, I think that, again, as a newly graduated student, you want to also be thinking about what your ultimate, what your ultimate goals are for yourself and where you're trying to get to. And think about it on a personal level, think about it on a professional level. So you can be intentional because now you're in the real world and... If there's a time when you need to limit yourself, the time is now um, because, you know, the world um, moves so fast. And I mean, the time is now as far as like you being a newly graduated student um, and then obviously being in this crazy time we're living in with COVID. <clears throat> you know, you want to really be smart about your decisions. And again, you know, think of your, your needs versus your wants. Um, I think that's so important. Um, it's so easy to be distracted and don't feel pressure from someone else that, you know, 
maybe living life a certain way or like seeming like they're turned up and everything is all good and fabulous. And that's great. Um, you know, but you really want to live within your own means. Like, I think that's the best thing that we could do is be confidently us, be confidently who you are and know that you're going to get to where you ultimately want to get to. You may not be where the person to your right or your left is or where you aspire to be, but you're going to get there and you got to believe in that and have faith in that. Uh, let me see here. What's our next question here? Someone says, I'm working on my credit. Do you feel that as an also important? Of course. I think it's very important. I can't lie. I was kind of one of those ones that <clears throat> from day one when I was young, I, was, I always took pride in having good credit, um, having great credit. Um, all those things again it goes back to financial independence like i just always wanted to make sure i was at my i was you know i was good um financially um and so it is very important it also allows you to get a lot of other things and you know certain type of uh it lets you allows you to get the highest level of like have the highest level of access and whether it's a certain kind of you know credit card um that you want to have a level or you know, all that good stuff, or you want to make, you know, purchases of, of a certain magnitude, you know, having that good credit score is, is key. Um, let me see here. All right, here we go. Thank you. What's my next question? All right, what's the next one, guys? Um, I'm a few salaries on the lowest paid, paid job in the, I don't know, in DMS. Um, okay, well, let me see, what else do we have here? <clears throat> How are you? Oh, it'd be so good. I love that. Someone asked me about doing a feature with Anita Elbers, my professor from Harvard. That would be amazing. I think that'd be really cool to do that too. She's pretty phenomenal. Um, ooh. Okay, here. Ooh, someone said tithe or not to tithe. I believe in tithing. Um, I think tithing is so good if you can do it. Um, you know, I feel like it's my way of giving back because I'm also giving back to the pastors that bless me and essentially bless others by being able to have a facility to um, give the word. I think it's really important and for me. I'm also, I'm also, I feel like I'm honoring God's word as well. And um, tithing feels good. I, you know, you, you can't be you're just crazy and just, you know, you got to you got to have your balance right. You know, as far as when you're, you know, giving in that in that in that capacity. <clears throat> but I really believe um, in tithing. Uh, Kelly, Kelly Rollins in the building. She said, you know how I feel about tithing. Kelly, you you got to Miss Coffee Queen. First of all, can we just tell Kelly how amazing she looks in her coffee video? Why is she like just so beautiful? Like, and she works hard on her body, y'all. Like, okay, I hope I said that right. But she like is a hardworking mama that gets it done. Um, so I just have to say that. I'm really proud of her because she never ceases to amaze me on how committed. No, I'm just keeping it real, Kelly. Kelly, she is a phenomenal woman and I'm so proud of her. Her video coffee is super hot. If you guys haven't seen it, it's just, it's just, it's just, I don't even know what you want to say. It's coffee. It's, it's that, mm, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's everything. Um, it's beautiful. It's powerful. Um, it's that, that sex of chocolate. Um, it's just amazing. Um, I'm just so proud of, um, proud of Kel's, you know. Um, she's a queen and she's showing us how to do it. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, I just love it. So 
I know somebody said it's everything. Um, but yes, <laughs> I had to go on that rant for a second because if you guys haven't seen the video, it's it's just dripping in all kinds of just flavors of just good old good mm, chocolate coffee. Ooh, um, I love you, Kels. Um, but she said here, tith- we were talking about tithe or not to tithe. And she- I will say Kelly and I have talked about tithing. And we have talked about, you know, how much it means to us. And it is, um, it's really real. Like, I do feel like you bless, you bless your life when you tithe. You bless the people that put into you when you tithe. Um, you know, put into you by giving, by, by giving God's word, um, you know, you you, um, it's just, a, it's a good feeling. So I enjoy it as well. And, um, I've been committed to it. I, I can say I've leveled up my tithing game. Um, I've been consistent with it and I'm really proud of it. Um, let me see. Oh, let me see here. What else we got? All right, guys. I see anything else popping here. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. All right, guys. This was good stuff. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I had um, chatting with you all about financial independence and it is so important for us to be financially independent um ladies i'm just saying you know i think we kind of level up our sexy when we're able to take care of ourselves and able to take care of our men sometimes too like being able to do nice things for them is fun um oh thanks scales <laughs> um you know i think it's important you know for us to be able to be all right and then when you're in transitions and you know whether it's you in your single mom phase, whether it's in you're in your relationship transition phase where you're trying to figure it out on your own, it just it's just no better feeling than being able to do for yourself and take care of yourself and not need anyone else. Um, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed that chat today. And um, I love you guys. Shout out to my sister Kelly for hopping on here. But again, I'm going to close it out and say you guys go check out Coffee because I think it's important that we close out with that sweet music note there. The video and the song is amazing, and I'm so proud of you, Kells. And I love you guys, and financial independence is hot. So you level up when you are financially independent. So I love you guys. I hope you have fun with me today. I'll see you all on next Women's Wednesdays. Hula, Women's Wednesdays. Okay, bye, y'all. <laughs>